Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Is Nicki Minaj's own label working against her? That's the question of the day. If you guys remember, Nicki Minaj went off on a certain company um, because they were fudging her numbers and they have restricted her music video, um, the Little Miss remix, because it wasn't appropriate. Now the restriction is off. But she mentioned, Duds at my label allow people to use my videos all the time to promote weak shit, but they said we can't buy promo for my videos. Now, allegedly, from what I heard, Republic um, wants Nicki to finish out her contract. They want Nicki Minaj to finish out her contract with Republic. She owes them one or two more albums. And you guys might be wondering, why would they want to push Nicki out? She makes them so much money. Well, the reason why Republic wants Nicki Minaj to finish out her contract is because um, they want to start pushing other female rappers. And allegedly, to what I'm hearing, they do not believe that Nicki Minaj would be happy with them pushing another female rapper. Okay, they tried to push Koi. That's the reason why she even got that Nicki Minaj collaboration. It was because of Republic. But clearly, um, Koi is not really doing well musically. And they don't believe they can fully push any other female rap artists on their label or even look for new rap talent that are female artists if Nicki Minaj is around. So that's the reason why they want her to finish out her contract. That's why they're fully not helping her. And I've been saying from the beginning that Republic barely gives Nicki Minaj any promotion. If it wasn't for Nicki Minaj's fans, you know, Super Freaky Girl wouldn't have been as big as it is now. It was because of Nicki Minaj's fan base, we pushed the record. They really weren't pushing it at first. Moving on to Cardi B and lottery ticket. It seems as though they might be coming. Um, she tweeted, I had to bring back a certain hairstyle for a fire collaboration coming soon. I loaded up on the content and music to roll out when I'm on tour. Get ready to be fed, okay? So she's also preparing to go on tour again. And it looks like a few weeks ago, Cardi B had a similar hairstyle as Lotto. Let me know if you guys are here for a lottery ticket and 11 faces joining forces and putting out a collaboration. And allegedly, um, the Munch Girl, Ice Cold, whatever her name is, she wants to collaborate with Cardi B. So it looks like Cardi B will be collaborating with a lot of female rappers. And then on top of that, the second collaboration that she got with Megan Thee Stallion hasn't come out yet. So let me know if you guys are here for it, if you guys will be streaming and supporting um, Cardi B and Lottery Tickets collaboration. So it looks like the baby just won't take his foot off of Megan's neck or coochie, okay? No shade, no pun intended. But he put a Megan Thee Stallion lookalike in his Boogeyman music video, um, basically trying to get views. Now, I understand that the baby can talk about whatever he wants. He can rap about whatever he wants, but it just seems like he's clout chasing. Nobody really cares that you smash Megan Thee Stallion because no shade. Megan Thee Stallion probably smashed a lot of people. I think that, um, the baby is trolling Megan Thee Stallion to get attention and then also he probably feels some type of way because party pressed him on social media and we already know party is not going to do anything okay we know that party is soft i mean how are you gonna allow the baby to disrespect your girl and you do nothing but when the rock said that he wanted to be megan the stallion's dog you went off on social media okay you a bitch 
I can't stand party. You dissing females. Why don't you write a diss for the baby? Okay, get your priorities straight. I'm tired of these losers acting tough on social media. It's just sad that Megan has a boyfriend that clout chases off of her name and Cardi B's name. But when she's going through it with grown men in the industry, he does nothing. He does nothing when Carl called her a hoe. He did nothing when Tory Lane said he smashed her and Kelsey. He did nothing when the baby is talking shit. I mean, goodness gracious. Speaking of Meg, um, now that Riri is back on the music scene, a lot of people are asking for collaborations. And Megan Thee Stallion wants to work with Rihanna um, because she already worked with Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Ariana Grande. Um, so she wants to do a song with Rihanna and Doja Cat. Those are the two people on her list. She also wants to do a collaboration with Adele. I feel like that's going to be a reach. Now, Rihanna might do a collaboration with Megan because they're both on Rock Nation. But Rihanna also unfollowed Megan earlier this year. Okay? She unfollowed Megan and she also ended her Savage X Fenty deal, um, which was ended... I guess, last year. So with that being said, I don't know if Rihanna really wants to collaborate with Megan Thee Stallion, but I would not be shocked if Megan gets the collaboration only because um, she's under Rock Nation and so is Rihanna. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Would you guys support Rihanna and Megan doing a collaboration? Let me know. Moving on to Doja Cat. Is Doja Cat the queen of Billboard? I've been saying for a while now that Doja Cat um, is the queen of charts because she's always in the top 10. Um, Planet Her and Hot Pink are both in the Billboard 200 charts. I think Hot Pink just left. And every time she drops a song, it charts. So let me know, is Doja Cat the queen of Billboard? Now, I understand that some people feel like Doja Cat um, might use a little bit of payola. Um, She does have a Spotify deal. Um, So maybe some of her numbers are fudge. But I believe that Doja Cat's numbers are 60 to 70 percent real. Okay, Um, we know that Doja Cat sells. When she does a concert, when she does a performance, people are there. Doja Cat could probably go on a solo tour by herself. She wouldn't even need an opening act. And she will sell tickets. A lot of the people that have been in the game can't even do that. Can Cardi B go on a solo tour without an opening act or having somebody go with her? I don't know about that. Okay, Um, so with that being said, I feel like Doja Cat deserves to be the queen of Billboard, at least for now, because she is consistent on the charts. So let me know how you guys feel about it. Like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications and have an amazing day.